soon to be here. Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Luca. Today I'm showing you another inspired by look. This time it's Chanel Le Rouge Fall 2016, the pretty red eye they did on Kirsten Stewart. I'm starting with the perfected base, which is hard work, so I at first conceal my under eye bags with um, Bobbi Brown's corrector in the color light bisque and then I'm moving on to a very heavy contour with the Anastasia cream contour kit in the color fair. I'm taking the darkest shade not only under my cheekbones but up on my temples as well because she has a pretty harsh shadow in the pictures that I can't recreate with light only looking completely crazy and then trying to sharpen my jawline where you can still see the extra baby weight I need to lose and then I'm trying to shape my nose into something that resembles Kirsten Stewart's nose which is longer and slimmer than my nose is. After this crazy dirty looking thing on the nose comes some highlight and the highlight is very heavy as well. I'm using it in a thick layer underneath my eyes, the typical triangle shape to really lighten the inner part of my face and I'm repeating that on my forehead, the center of my forehead slightly blended out, down the bridge of my nose and then on the cupid's bow. If I sound, sorry, if I sound a little sick, this is because I am, I have a cold, but I really need to do this voiceover. I hope you're not bothered and I hope I don't have to sneeze throughout the video. So as you can see, pretty much my whole center of the face is covered in highlight. And then I'm taking my trusted beauty blender dupe and the Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Makeup in the color Light Beige. And I'm using the sponge to apply the makeup. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but it works really well if you try to blend in a cream contour. And I sped that up so you don't have to see me bouncing a ball on my face for ages. And yes, this is the final result and I think it looks quite good, at least on camera. Zooming in, I'm moving on to the eyes and that's the really interesting part. First I prep my eyes mid MAC Paint Pot to neutralize the color. And then I was facing the challenge that I barely have any red browns in my collection, but I have a lot of reds in form of lipsticks. So I created um, my own colors and used my lipsticks on my eyes. I'm starting with a Astor lipstick that goes all over my mobile lid and a little up into the crease. The color is Flirt Natural. It's a slightly brownish red and it was actually pretty easy to apply. It was quite creamy. It looked a little patchy at first, but as I had hoped, it was quite easy to blend out with a fluffy blending brush, as you can see. And I used that as a base for my true brown eyeshadow. Yeah, looking like I've cried the whole night. And the eyeshadow I'm using is Cross Cultural, just a brown eyeshadow, matte eyeshadow that I put on top of the lipstick. That worked quite well in making the eyeshadow adhere. I probably could have skipped the paint pot. And in giving a red undertone to the plain brown shadow. Again, the fluffy blending brush with the rest of the color helps to soften the edges, pull everything together and to enhance the red even further i'm using a mac eyeshadow in mythic any red sparkly eyeshadow will do on the inner half of my lid the camera doesn't pick that up but it's a pretty shimmery color so you get that reddish shine another lipstick for the outside or the wing is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Really Red, another matte. And I just tapped that on the outer part of the eye where I winged it out to my temples. 
and then you guessed it use my trusted blending brush to blend everything in that way the eyeshadow get, gets a reddish halo that I wouldn't be able to achieve otherwise again cross-cultural just a brown eyeshadow that goes underneath the eyes to tie everything together and I use it to line my lower lash line and take it pretty much to the inner corner and up to my temples to deepen the, the wing and to make that even more sultry I'm using showstopper which is a very very dark brown again a matte color and that goes up against my temple some black liner my favorite l'oreal super liner and extra black gloss just a thin line on the upper lash line i think she was just wearing falsies and no liner in the ad but as i'm not adding any falsies i need that against the red to look like to not look like i've cried her eyebrows are really really natural so I'm just brushing mine up without filling them in just using a plain clear brow gel and then my favorite mascara for some drama on the lashes. This is a finished look of the eyes and then I'm going back in for my face using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer to cover any blemishes because the base really really looks perfected. And then I'm mattifying everything by using a loose powder in the color translucent that actually gives a very very nice velvety finish to the skin. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit again this time the highlight and I'm highlighting right down to the top of my nose the end of my nose which I usually don't do because I think it looks just sweaty but her nose is really shiny in the picture right down to the bottom blending everything in the beauty blender again and the lipstick i used on the outer part of my eyes goes on my lips as well finally used like it was meant to be a really nice plain red lip color now the favorite part the posing her hair is shorter and darker than mine I don't own any Chanel quartz, so I figured Bobbi Brown would do just nicely. But as you can see, as the light hits and as I just realized, it was really, really dirty and needed a quick clean before I could use it as a prop in the video. I changed the eye and tried to figure out how she's holding her fingers. It's all in the details, you know, and then how she's holding her chin. And yeah, well, I guess that's the final pose. The eyes, this is the, um, these are the shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown that I really like. And there you see the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.